Come with me up Moses Mountain, come and meet with God. Come with me to the river bank with the spinning wheels above. Come with me up Moses Mountain, come and meet with God. Come with okay, I want to talk briefly about song choice, choosing songs. This is obviously a very personal thing, and we tend to choose songs that we like, which is fine. Um, but in choosing your songs, it really helps to know your congregation. Um, it helps to choose songs that speak to your setting, speak to your, I don't want to say limitations, but it's like the, the structure that has a negative connotation, but the structure and the people that we're working with. Choose your songs in a way that it's going to, that they're going to identify. Um, some ways to do that are like, I don't know, if your church has sort of an, an age group demographic, you're going to structure that differently if they're older people, if they're, you know, if your congregation is primarily 50 and above, we don't have this, but if it's primarily that way, you're going to choose different songs than you would if you have an 18 to 35 focus. Like it just, you have to sort of look at the majority, look at the taste, look at um, even your geography and, and consider that. I would lead worship differently you know, in some of the places in the U.S. than I would here at home. It just, you, you got to know the congregation that you're dealing with. Um, and as a church, we need to develop our own style. Our church will have it carry an indigenous sound, and we want to develop that. We want to choose songs and write songs that that feed into our indigenous sound and let that rise out. Because it, it's it's a true thing that there are spiritual sort of worship centers in the earth, and God you know, we'll, we'll deposit and call forth a different sound from different places. And so in our song choice, we also want to think about feeding in, contributing in, sewing into our indigenous sound. Um, a good congregational song, so a good choice. And again, this is a situation where they're not right and wrong. It's just right and less right. Okay? A, a good congregational song is biblically sound, first and foremost. Let's please not get into false doctrine in our singing. Um, the melody of the song is solid and easy to follow. We don't want a melody that, you know, where the range is really high or really low or has a huge sweep of high to low. We want the, the melody to be memorable, followable, solid and easy to engage. Um, and the song should have built-in dynamics, a natural ebb and flow, um, natural swells, natural passion in the song, not just sort of a you know, a one. You'll find you'll get better results with songs that do that rather than songs that just stay on one level. Really work for that. Um, and so, good congregational songs will have something memorable, easy, repeatable that you can build on. That can be a, a springboard for going into free worship. 